Hi everyone, it's uh, Erez here. I'm happy to be back. It feels like I turned a corner. Basically my um, uh, medical condition has stabilized and my cocktail of medications seems to work, so I'm very very grateful for that. I saw my surgeon today and the uh, wound looks very good, it's healing, will take a few more weeks but again as I told you I'm not attached to time anymore so it will heal when it will heal and I will just wait and uh, when the time comes we'll do the feeding and I'll get my first leg and all the rest of it. But uh, anyways, uh, very happy with that, very grateful to be back, I can think a little bit clearer now and I have more hours uh, of uh, sanity during the day. So I'm happy about it. I want to share with you a bit of a funny story today about my foot, right? What do you do with the foot? Because they chop it off and then what? So apparently they just chuck it all in a bin or something in the hospital and at the end of the day or after a few days they dispose of it in one, one way or another, cremate it or do whatever the case may be. So for me it was important that I will have my foot after the operation. Uh, not in a jar or, uh, <laughs> or with me in a bag or anything, right? Just uh, cremated. So I asked prior to my operation, how is that done and who's responsible for it and all the rest of it. They didn't really know, so <laughs> they told me, just wait before you enter the operation, ask your surgeon. So I did that and here I am with, you know, the PJs of the hospital and everything and I'm out on the bed and the... Um, uh, anesthesiologist is just about to put me down and say, hey, hold it, I need to talk with the surgeon, talk to his contents. Uh, I really want to have my foot cremated. Oh, really? Uh, cremated? Uh, we don't really know what to do. Um, let me check. So, in a frenzy, they kind of figure out what to do. Anyways, he came back, he said, all right, we'll take care of it for you. I'm down, operation is over, everything is, is done. So I wake up and uh, after a couple of days the social worker uh, comes up to my uh, ward and she comes to visit me. She says, you requested to keep your uh, foot, right? I said, yes, what happened with it? She said, look, we couldn't find anything to do with it, so it's in the morgue. <laughs> it's been refrigerated until you decide what to do. So I ask, what can I do? Oh, you can um, cremate it. Here is a list of three, four uh, crematoriums in the Vancouver area. Uh, would you like us to check for you? I said, no, don't worry. I'll uh, make a few phone calls and uh, figure it out. So <laughs> I spent a couple of hours phoning crematoriums and say, uh, hey, guys, I just had my foot amputated and I want it cremated. So three out of four were kind of, oh, that's a, an awkward request. We don't really get that too often. We don't know what to do. So I said, okay, just... Give me a quote, because I'm a very, uh, <laughs> I'm a very um, a business-oriented type of person, right? So I wanted to get a good price for it. First one came at uh, 800, the second one came at 1500, another one 2200. I said, "Wow, this is just a food. What about the entire body?" I said, "Look, we're going to charge you for an entire body, but give you a bit of a discount." Anyways, eventually I found one place. They were willing to do it for 600 bucks. I said. Great deal, go for it. What is the procedure? So they make their um, arrangements with the hospital and they come and pick it up. So they pick it up and cremate it and all the rest of it. So a few weeks after, I'm at home already, I get a phone call. I said, your foot remains is ready for pickup. Okay, so Sonia, my beloved, went to pick it up and here it is. I just want to share it with you because it's just awesome. So here it is in this little box, and you can see the text, uh, the remains of Erez Avramov, the extremity of, of course, so it's not all of me, and I just want to open it with you and just show you how it looks, it's, it's quite, quite crazy. So here it is, I'm going to dig it out, and it comes in this little bag, and you, this is a part of my body, this is a part of my physical body, it used to be alive with flesh and nerves and cells and blood and tissue and this is all there is remained. I'm not sure if you can see it, it's quite bony, right? I mean it's chunky. So um, anyways, it is here 
And I had a plan before I did this because I really wanted to respect and honor this process of um, saying goodbye to my foot. So I thought about it for a long time and the decision was I really want to have it cremated and then spread the ashes in certain places. And the, the two places I really want to do it is one, there is in my home country, Israel. There's a pl very special place dear to my heart in the Judean desert, uh, which I want to go and spread half of it over there. It's the top of a mountain in a very, very unique location, just about a, a little uh, water reservoir. Uh, quite a hike, but uh, it's just beautiful. I used to go there. It's uh, kind of my uh, second home when I was a kid growing up in Israel. I used to spend tons of time in the desert. And the second half is here in British Columbia, the uh, tallest mountain in uh, Western Canada, which is called Mount Logan. Now this is a bit of a, an expedition to get up there. It's about three weeks and it's a full-on mountaineering expedition. So um, some of my dear friends will probably join me when I'm ready. I don't know when that will be, but this will be the second location. And I want to leave a little bit of it to have my beloved artist um, Sonia create something that embodies part of the ashes so it stills still remain in our household in one way or another which is quite a weird but uh, I just want to have something to remember it by so anyways I just thought that's uh, quite of an interesting anecdote uh, a little bit more about this on my uh, blog at uh, erezavramov.com and a, a description about Sonia and her experience when she went to pick up my remains while I'm still alive from the crematorium. So once again, happy to be with you, uh, pleasure, and hope you're all doing well. Uh, as you can see, I'm doing better, and we'll see you next time. See ya.